All right, hey guys, welcome again to Fire Alarms and such, and this is time for Simplex 4010 Test 1. I really hope you guys like the new intro. I really like it. Um, I think it's pretty cool. And I also want to say thank you. I just hit 31,000 total views. I think that's kind of cool. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for the support. I got to, uh, well, never mind. Thank you guys for all the support. <laughs> So we are going to start off here today at the Simplex 4010. Hit exit here. See we do have a system normal. Um, I'm not going to be doing the PowerPoint thing today. So I'm still trying to think of a good way to do it. Uh, but for right now I'm just going to say what all the model numbers are. Over here at point 0.9, this is now point 0.9 because point 0.1 on this module is kind of effective. I've abused this module in the past, so I'm not surprised that point one isn't working. Um, but it eventually started giving a bad answer when it was on point one, and it went into trouble. It went into trouble in the middle of the night, which was kind of annoying because I could hear it all the way upstairs, and I had to go down at 12:40 in the morning and figure out why my panel was in trouble. Um, so it's just a bad, uh, a bad answer. Not a no answer, but a bad answer. So I changed it to 9, and that solved all the problems. So this is the Simplex 4099903 push, then pull, pull station. Close the panel up. Going up, I have a new true alert up there. It is the Simplex 4906912721 two wire uh, horn strobe multi candela set. You can kind of see it right in there it's set at 30 candela code 3 and then over here this is that knockoff one again in the white in the white cover and that is a simplex oh, I gotta find the card for it uh, that is the simplex 23719308 I just realized I may have given you Oh, I think I gave you the right model number. I gave you the right model number. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Over here at point three is the Simplex 4099903 push then pull pull station. Me back over and around over here is my Simplex 20999754 dual action pull station. And then eventually there will be something here, probably like a key switch or something. Um, I don't know, there'll be something there. That's separate. It's not hooked up to anything today. Um, that's its own thing. I won't be hooking the panels up pretty much at all. Um, oh yeah, new thing up here. Smoke detector. This was an incredible pain. Um, what I got, I got a real cheap, a lot of simplex smoke heat detectors. And so here's the thing, the heads, this is not the head, the head is compatible with the panel. The base that it came with, oops, I shouldn't have known that was going to happen. The base that it came with was not compatible with the panel. Why? Because it was a smoke and heat detector and the base didn't split that up into two, two separate zones, which this panel needs, but the newer panels like the 4100 can have that in the same zone. So I had to order a new base for it to use the heads. And that base got lost in the mail. So I actually have had to file a claim with USPS to see, you know, where it is. Um, so there's good, there's nothing in the other room right now. Once I get the new base, um, I also had to buy this smoke detector in like an emergency. Um, this will go in there and then the smoke heat will come up here. This is the base from the smoke heat because this base is compatible with this panel if it's just a smoke head on it. Um, so we'll be magnet testing and soloing that today. Close that up. Oop, I was going to show you something, but never mind. And let's start pulling. Here we go.
All right. We're going to leave the strobes flashing, and we're going to come over here. Eventually, there will be a remote strobe over here. I want to get a true alert remote strobe. Um, don't worry, though. I will be changing our true alerts, so it won't always be true alerts there. It will be other stuff, and other pole stations, too. I just I need to get modules. But let's put pole station, too. And then we will pull the last pull station. You see, strobes are in sync. The horns are in sync as well, finally. They're the same pitch. They stay in sync. That's kind of nice. Lighting over here is, oh, is awful because I don't have the light on. Just could go at the floor. So I can turn on the light. Da 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 da. There we go. And let's pull this one. Panel is silenced and acknowledged. So now we can start resetting pole stations. If I may be key, I'm just going to leave that key in the panel. One. I really got my steps working on this panel. Two. My shipping stuff. Don't forget, I always got stuff on sale on my eBay account. I'm working on getting a lot for you guys. A lot of cool stuff and a lot of stuff I will be selling. Um, here's the head. Here's that smoke heat head. That's the heat sensor there. This is the head I was going to use and then the base wasn't compatible. But if you want one, I got, how many do I have? I have three on my eBay account. So, got some good stuff up there. Still got alarms. Uh, Got a Firelight BG12 up there if you want a BG12. And now we will do a system reset. And then we will magnet test the smoke detector. Once this resets. This takes forever to reset. Let's find a dance to the strobes. That clicking you're hearing coming from the panel, that is it uh, opening and closing the relay real quick to send a sync through. All right, so we're going to grab my handy dandy magnet stick. It's getting stuck on my fry panels, not turkey sign. Oh my gosh. It's expandable. And to magnet test, we'll just hold it right next to the LED. Alarms are silenced, there's a reset in the panel happening. LED lights up. What's cool is that when a detector goes into trouble, um, you can actually tell the panel to, or really just at any point, whether it's in trouble or not, you can tell it to force on the LED, which will make the LED on the detector turn on, which is kind of cool. So that way, like, if you're like looking for the, the detector in trouble or something, um, you just I'm so terribly sorry. Um, I was gesturing wildly and I have a cord that comes from my phone that goes to a mic on me and my hand got snagged on the cord and 
uh, well, there's part of my phone. Um, with the whole camera out of my hand. All right, I'm gonna keep that in because that's kind of funny. Um, I'm sorry if it's loud. Panel's not resetting now. I think we can uh, solo test this before I break anything else. Got my can of solo here. Silenced. Let's acknowledge that. And we will probably give me a trouble. Come on. And we will do a system reset. So, I'm gonna pick up that piece of my phone before I forget. Um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I really, I really like this new Simplex panel. It's pretty cool. Be able to use all these devices that I would have uh, otherwise never been able to use. I'm just, um, yeah. So, thank you guys for watching. And I think just because. Why not? I'm going to do this. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful day. Oh my gosh. <laughs>